Hey guys, today we're talking all about Zwift. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie and this is Iron Things. And today we're talking all about Swift. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're not new, if you're already a subscriber, thanks so much for keep coming back and tuning in once again. If you have been following me for a while, you will know by now that I am a huge fan of Swift. And what is Swift? Swift really is a gaming platform for people who enjoy biking or who enjoy running. So how does Swift work? It's basically a platform in which you put together an avatar. Most times, most runners and cyclists will make this avatar look like them. You give them a name and then you just run or bike on the different worlds that Swift has available for the users. Now, if you're a cyclist, you will get a week for free and then you will have to pay a subscription fee monthly if you want to continue using the platform. If you're a runner though, the platform is completely free and that is what makes this so interesting so what do you need to utilize swift you're gonna need three things and a fourth one if you want to utilize the social aspect of the platform so the number one thing you need is a treadmill with bluetooth capabilities any basic treadmill will do my treadmill is the lifespan 4000i it's a basic um, treadmill i paid for it i believe it was a thousand dollars it's a year old it does the job really 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 well you can use one with more features one with less features it doesn't matter as long as your treadmill has bluetooth capabilities the second thing you're gonna need is a food pod i use the swift food pod it's the most basic brand pod that you can utilize you attach the pod to your shoes and you're set now the third thing you're gonna need is a phone, tablet, some sort of technology that allows you to run Swift itself. Now, connecting all three things is really, really easy. You download the Swift app on your phone or on your tablet. You create your avatar, you name your avatar, and then after that, you just start your treadmill, connect the Bluetooth, make sure you have Bluetooth, connect it with the app and connect the RAM pod with the app as well. Now this whole process should be pretty seamless. If you've ever connected any Bluetooth contraption to your phone, you're gonna know usually they discover each other. So it's, it should not be an issue, but if it is, leave me a comment below. I can actually do another video on how to interconnect the three, the treadmill, the Swift app and your grandpa. Once you have connected all three of them, you can start running on Swift. Usually my recommendation would be to calibrate and you will be given that option when you create your avatar because otherwise your RAM pod, your Swift app and your treadmill might not be going at the same speed. You really want all three of them to be calibrated so that you truly are running at the speed that you want to run at. And then after that, you're going to be given options. The options to run on the platform are different every day. You can always run on Watopia, which is the main country that you can run on. Every single day, Watopia is open for runners and cyclists. Or you can run on two alternate worlds. Now, the worlds change every single day, and there is a calendar as you log in to Swift. You will see a calendar to your right with the worlds that are available on that day. Now, the reason for that I have been told is because they don't want the people to spread out on the platform too much. They want enough people running on the same worlds so that it is motivating for others. Because when you see other people running next to you or cycling next to you, you tend to run faster, you get motivated. So that's one aspect of the platform that they want to still emphasize. There are rumors out there that we're getting another world and the rumors are that this world is going to be Tokyo and I can't wait to run in Tokyo. I'm sure it's going to be amazing when we get that option. Now on the platform, you also have the opportunity to sign up for training plans. They have a 5K plan, they have a 13.1 plan. Now there are not too many options in terms of that, but the platform offers almost a hundred different individual workouts. 
So you can choose based on how much time you have. You have 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, and then just pick your workout from a drop down menu. Also, Swift puts together regularly during the year certain running leagues that are pretty amazing because they offer you the opportunity to meet other people and compete with other people. Sometimes throughout the year, they offer certain awards or certain perks to people who participate within these running leagues. So for example, recently they took three runners that participated and completed all six runs within this particular league. They did a lottery and they chose three runners to go to participate in the Berlin Marathon, which I think is just a great, great perk especially because all these we're talking about is 100% free you guys it's unbelievable how good this platform is for absolutely zero dollars euros or pounds whatever in the world you are you actually can utilize swift to run on completely for free now i mentioned at the beginning of this video that you might need a fourth thing so if you want to make swift social if you want to chat with other runners as you are running yourself, you are going to need to download another app that's called the Zwift Companion app. It's a blue icon. Now, when you download that, you log in with your nick and your password and you are in your profile. You're gonna have access to chatting with other people that might be around you when you're running. And you're gonna have access to signing up for specific running workouts. And this is the reason why I recommend everybody running the Swift Companion app on your phone and running Swift itself on some other platform, maybe a big tablet or putting it on your TV, streaming on your TV, because that way you can actually engage with other people as you are running on Swift. And this is a really, really cool feature. As you log in to the Swift Companion app, you're going to see the different workouts by time and by day. So you're gonna see the workouts that are available today, the workouts that are available tomorrow and so on and so forth. So you will see them in your own time zone. They have workouts all 24 hours, seven days a week. And these workouts are really, really cool. Most of the times they are not run by the Swift platform itself. They're run by someone such as myself, or some other person who actually has a, an avatar on Swift and wants to host a run. So for example, me and my friend Cecily, we have a running workout. It's called At Your Own Pace, A-Y-O-P, and it's Mondays at 6.30 a.m. in the morning. It's the best way to start your week. So if you wanna join us, if you're watching this video and you wanna join us, we, you're very welcome. We would love to have you. I'll leave a link below so you can sign up for that specific run. But what we try to do is to make it fun. We tell jokes, we engage with the runners. We try and we always ask what your goals are. If you're training for anything, if you run a race, if you got a medal, it's a great way to stay motivated to run because you are interacting with others. So even if you don't feel like going out and running by yourself on the treadmill or outside, this is an excellent way to engage with others and hear about their stories and hear about how they're struggling or what challenge they are encountering um throughout their training so yeah this is the basic layout of swifts i hope you really like this video if you have any more questions please leave a comment below i'd be happy to try and answer any question you might have i can do more videos about swift i love this platform i am completely addictive and all throughout covid if it wasn't because of swift i probably wouldn't have run this much yeah you guys i hope you enjoyed this video give this video a huge thumbs up Share it with your friends if you think they could benefit from watching. And as always, run fearless.